Hello everyone and welcome to this long dark video. Today I'm going to be comparing the brand new fire hardened arrows to the simple arrows that we're all used to. Right now I'm only on day 13 in a stalker save I, that I just started. My goal with this save is to reach 500 days and as I explore the world of the long dark I will be posting videos just like this. And since I just crafted a bow, I thought I would make this video to see if the fire-hardened arrows are any good. So let's begin. The first thing I'm going to compare is the cost to craft them. The recipe for simple arrows is as follows. Three crow feathers, one arrow shaft, and one arrowhead. You can get three arrow shafts by simply using one cured birch sapling. Birch saplings take four days to cure and they require either a hatchet or a hacksaw to harvest then you're gonna take your cured birch sapling which is sit indoor for four days you're gonna take it to a workbench and you're either gonna use a hatchet or a hunting knife and you're gonna turn one sapling into three arrow shafts meaning each sapling will get you a total of three arrows then you're gonna need three crow feathers that you can get from either dead bodies you find in the world or you can find around deer, moose, wolves, or bear that you kill. And finally, easily the most difficult to obtain is the arrowhead. Arrowheads can be created at a forge. There is currently only four forges in the long dark. One at Desolation Point, one at Forlorn Musk Egg, one at Broken Railroad, and finally one at the new Forsaken Airfield region. Once you make your way to a forge, you're going to need to heat that forge up to 150 degrees Celsius, which means you will need coal to get it up to that temperature. Coal often spawns around the forge, but sometimes you will need to get some from caves. Then you're also going to need a heavy hammer and one piece of scrap metal. And once you create an arrowhead, you'll get two of them, and it'll take one hour. Then you're going to take all your ingredients, your arrowheads, your arrow shafts, in your crow feathers to a workbench and you're gonna spend one and a half hours no tools required to create a simple arrow now let's see how you create a fire hardened arrow and now as you can see the recipe for creating fire hardened arrows is a lot simpler all you're gonna need is five sticks five crow feathers an active fire and either a hunting knife a hatchet or their improvised versions you're gonna take your tool and your crow feathers and your sticks to an active fire any fire works whether that be an outdoor fire a fire barrel one of these six burner stoves a forge whatever and you're gonna go to this new slot called crafting this is the only item built out of fire and you're gonna use your tool you're gonna use your five sticks you're gonna use your five crow feathers and you're gonna get yourself three fire hardened arrows after 33 minutes of time Yep, and yeah now you have three fire hardened arrows You can clearly tell that they're a lot easier to craft, but the real question is Are they any good because even if they're easy to craft they still need to be functional for hunting to be worth your time All right, I've now found some deer to test these arrows on and as you'll see they don't have any antlers That's actually because they're does that got added in the free update that came out at the same time as Tales from the Far Territory Part 1. They have a little less meat than the males, but other than that, it's just the model that's different. And by the way, if you have both of these arrows in your inventory at once, you can switch between them by clicking square on PlayStation or whatever button you use to reload a gun on PC and Xbox. I won't be using this simple arrow on the doe because as we all know simple arrows can kill any animal effectively whether that be a little rabbit or a giant moose instead let's see what these fire hardened arrows can do so I'm gonna step back aim and I missed step back aim and boom as you'll see it hit the foot of the deer and I did get points towards my archery skill but you'll notice that the deer is not dead and it's also not bleeding and our arrow is also broken that's because these new fire hardened arrows can only be used against small game which are rabbits anything larger will not be hurt at all and even if you give them 10 days they will never bleed out 
And I know I said I wasn't going to use the simple arrow on one of these deer, but real quickly, I do want to get my first deer kill of this new save. So let's ready, aim, and boom. He should be down in a little bit because unlike the new fire hardened arrows, simple arrows, even if you don't kill them on the spot, they will cause things to bleed out. Unless it's a moose. Moose don't bleed out. So I'm just going to wait and harvest that guy. And then we'll check out what fire hardened arrows do to their intended prey, rabbits. Okay, so now let's use fire hardened arrows against their intended targets, which are rabbits. And as you can see, as soon as we hit it, it will go down. Just like the simple arrows. I'll demonstrate that as well. Let's switch to them by clicking square. And I just missed. One second here, guys. I go on to miss that rabbit a second time, but you guys don't really need to see that. You get the idea. Both arrows can kill rabbits. However, obviously, you're going to want to use these new fire-hardened arrows because... They are easier to craft, and you wouldn't want to waste the durability of your precious simple arrows. In the roadmap for the Tales from the Far Territory, it talks about a brand new small game animal that is coming, the Ptarmigan Bird. But as of now, these new fire hardened arrows are only good against rabbits. Finally, let's talk about the durability and the weight. Simple arrows weigh 0 0.15 kilograms, while the fire hardened arrows weigh 0 0.10 kilograms which means they are better weight wise however i can't say the same about durability as they are pretty fragile when firing at anything bigger than a rabbit they break instantly as you saw when i shot at that deer and if you miss a rabbit and hit the snow or a tree they will get more damage than if you shot the snow or a tree with a simple arrow so the simple arrow wins durability wise my final verdict is that these arrows can be very helpful in early game, but only in difficulties lower than interloper. Since you need a knife or a hatchet to craft these arrows, in interloper you're going to have to go to a forge to craft a tool, which means while you're there you might as well make arrowheads and craft some simple arrows instead. On other difficulties, if you find a knife or a hatchet and you get a bow either by crafting it or finding it, these are going to be very helpful if you don't want to go to a forge. I guess these arrows would also be good in all difficulties when you're in late game. By that time you'll probably have both arrow types. So anytime you come across a wolf, bear, deer, or moose, you can use your simple arrows. But anytime you find rabbits, you can use these new fire hardened arrows. People may argue that you should just use a rock to kill rabbits instead. But fire hardened arrows actually weigh less. And they also kill the rabbits instead of stunning them, leaving it no chance to get away if you can't sprint to it. So overall, these fire hardened arrows are a cool addition to the long dark. That will be even better when the ptarmigan comes out in a later update. But even right now, they're still a great way to kill rabbits and get your archery skill up. Oh my god! Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Oh my god. Okay, so I just got attacked by a wolf because I was looking at my script and not at the game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for when I post the video about the Signal Void Tale whenever I get to the airfield on this run. But until then, goodbye everyone.